Close by overhanging leaves, pairs of Capella arnoldi gather. These tiny fish have a huge challenge ahead of them. The male has the long tail. The female is ready to spawn, the eggs visible through her skin. The pair move together near the surface. Sometimes pausing, sometimes darting back and forth with urgency. What is about to happen is a most remarkable spawning achievement. Prompted by the male, the two fish leap together high out of the water where they cling to a hanging leaf. They hold on for about three seconds before first the female, then the male drop back, leaving behind a small cluster of eggs. They're called jumping carison, and each leap adds more eggs to the cluster. The male's fully expanded pectoral and abdominal fins act as suckers, allowing the pair to hold on to the leaf. They continue until there are about 50 eggs, all covered with gel to keep in the moisture. But the performance isn't yet over. The male chases the female away, then begins the job of preventing the eggs from drying out in the hot sun. He does this by splashing them. As he smacks the water surface with his back fin, water splashes onto the leaf above. He's amazingly accurate and continues until the eggs hatch. By the next day, they have already developed eyes. And the following day, prompted by the water splashes, the eggs begin to hatch. The fries enter the river with the falling water drops of their father's splashes. As they hit the water, the young fish seek out a hiding place among the leaves. Young Capella Arnoldi have inherited a bizarre but successful strategy for spawning above the waters of the flooded woodland that now becomes their protector.